the latest Chinese technological developments seem to reverse that and escape unscathed. To locate enemy submarines, active sonar is used in which the submarine transmits sound pulses and calculates the time it takes to reach the target and bounce back. According to the Chinese researchers, the tile-shaped device they are developing can analyze enemy sonar frequencies and generate opposing sound waves so that sonar operators will mistake the submarine for water. Furthermore, Chinese engineers were able to stick the device all over the hull of a submarine to counter the sonar beams coming from any angle because a complete unit is less than half the size and thickness of a brick. This development comes at a time when great power competition is taking place between China and its Western adversaries, particularly the United States. Although the U.S. primarily operates nuclear-powered submarines, the PLA Navy continues to use conventionally powered submarines while skipping building more efficient nuclear-powered ships. The Beijing Institute of Technology team claims that the low-frequency sound produced by the tiles has an intensity of up to 147 decibels, which is louder than a rock concert and strong enough to block some of the most powerful active sonars used by the U.S. The root of all submarine operations is secrecy. China's geography being surrounded by shallow waters and having to pass through choke points before reaching the deep waters of the Pacific, presents the greatest challenge to submarine operations. It is much easier for the US to conduct submarine operations. For its part, China has made concerted efforts to strengthen its submarine fleet with a focus on decreasing or essentially eliminating detection by the United States Navy and its regional allies, especially in the Pacific. For example, the Type 039C submarine is believed to be completely undetectable and has the stealth contours used in stealth aircraft, as previously noted by the national interest. More precisely, there are reports that the PLA Navy has placed this newest attack submarine in its East Sea Fleet. It also competes with the network of islands that make up Japan, which serve as a natural barrier between the open oceans. Not only that, China's naval presence, including its conventional and nuclear submarine operations, has grown rapidly in the Indo-Pacific region. This has been the main reason behind Australia's decision to sign the AUKUS deal for the purchase of the Virginia-class nuclear submarines from the United States, with design assistance from the United Kingdom. Against the backdrop of China's towering efforts in submarine development and strengthening of the stealth components of these submarines, newly claimed Chinese innovations are becoming more and more significant and exciting.